Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest became a rising star after his performance of Reverend Paul Jones' classic, I Won't Complain, went viral and put him on the map for over millions of people. Mm -hmm. Welcome down to the circle, Mr. Kalante Gavin. Yes! <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you? I mean, you have a voice on you. You do. Did you always know you wanted to sing? Always did. From yeah. an early age, grew up, you know, in the country, in church, so it was always one of the Where things. Where are you from? I'm from Ridgeville, South Carolina. Okay. South Carolina. We're here. They sing. <laughs> they sing down it. in, in yeah. South Carolina. Yeah. Yes, well. Oh, man. So, your video oh went God. viral at 15. Um, what was that experience like, and were you just having fun, or did you plan to for it to go viral? I, I really was, um... It, a normal high school, it's lunchtime, y'all. So <laughs> I'm going through the line. I'm supposed to be getting lunch. And I, here it is. I'm getting a request to sing a song. And um, all I can remember was, is without hesitation, I leaned over the counter and I Won't Complain came out. Wow. And, and before I knew it, about a week time later, it was viral. I mean, people were blowing up my parents and Facebook. Wow. And like, Kalante's all over the internet. What's going on? How did that make and you so, feel? It was unreal. Mm -hmm. You know, growing up in a small town, you wouldn't expect it. Um, messages, the love from people that yeah. you don't even know, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. So it was awesome. You're a young yeah. gospel artist. <laughs> um, I'm sure you face certain challenges. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what, what do your friends say? Like, you gotta carry yourself a certain way. <laughs> you know, what is that like for you? That's a, a large burden to carry. Oh my gosh. Um, telling them that it's okay to wear Jordans and love Jesus. Okay, um, okay. <laughs> And so, and so like honestly, that. it's it's pride. Uh -huh. um, I, I I really try to really keep myself rooted and grounded, quiet, um, because one thing that I can't see is myself. Mm. And so, not seeing myself sometimes we're deaf to proud when it's so loud. Yes. Ooh. Others see it before we do. And so, being young, that's one of the very that that's the thing that I pray keep myself rooted and grounded, just to you know be an encouragement to others that just be okay. It's okay to be different. Yeah. Be you, but mm. don't be so loud with pride. Right. Right. Well, I'll yes, tell you, that single, yeah. No Ordinary Worship, my <laughs> yes, God, yeah. oh, you did man. your thing on that one. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. did so well that it's like on the top 20. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Don't tell oh, your business now. Snap. You did you, sugar. very, very well with that. Oh, man. What, what you, I mean, it's almost like you thrusted yourself into mm -hmm. that song. Mm -hmm. What was your motivation behind that? It, it's, it, was, it was very powerful. It's called, the song is called No Ordinary Worship. So honestly, in the title, that'll tell you itself. I serve or we serve and we know an extraordinary God. And so every morning I wake up, it's a privilege for me to serve him. And because he's extraordinary, he deserves no ordinary worship. Yeah. And so it's that simple. You know, I'm going to give him everything that I have every moment that I can. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yes, That's man. nice. You're not only a singer, but you're also a writer. Um, <laughs> you have a lot of credits on the song Higher. Yes, um, ma'am. Tell me, how did, that come, how did that song come about? My mom did. She wrote it. Oh, your did mom? she wrote she, it? My mom. Shout out to my mama. Shout out to your mama, <laughs> B. My mama. Yes. She wrote it. She wrote it. I'll never forget. Late one night, I'm cruising, chilling on the couch. I hear somebody come out the room, and she, hey, boy, I got this song. Uh-huh. You know, coming out of her prayer time, I mean, she is an incredible prayer warrior. And, and she's like, here it is. You know, she can't sing, but she tried her best. Yes. And before I knew it, we put something together, and before we knew it, Higher, we had higher. Yes, wow. To God be the glory. Speaking of higher, you know, your album, The Higher Experience. Yes. Um, it's, it's live, live performances. Yes, So what made you go with live versus them being in, in the studio? And then tell me about <laughs> how, give, if, I could, if I could go there with you. Uh -huh. Okay. Set the scene for me. Honestly, when you hear the album, you literally hear my heart. Mm. So that's why I wanted to do live. I want people to get the live me, mm -hmm. the live version of me. Every song, every everything that was put into it, production, everything. The higher experience. I, honestly, every every I, I, I wrote this album because I want to encourage people that every part of your life is going higher. Yeah. And so honestly, that's why I did higher, man. What live. was going so on that cool. night? It, it, man, it was incredible. Mm. To this day, I mean, I I, I still can't believe that. Even I hear when I hear the album, I'm like, wow, that's me. Yeah. Like, I want you to say something real quick. This is put him on you the got five here. octave range. I want to hear it. Hit it. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days and some leela nights. Mm. But when I look around, hey, and I think things over all of my good days. I'll wait my days. I 
Thank you. 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 Thank you.